You can save toner by replacing or removing the garment color from the image with a complementary color. To replace a color in your image, you first need to click on the plus icon in the top right side of the window. The next window to appear is the selective color correction window. There are two ways to replace colors here. The first is by entering color values into the source color and destination color fields. The other way of removing colors from the image is with the use of your mouse. You can choose the colors you wish to replace by clicking the image itself. Using the CMYK value fields lets you add or remove a specific color value from the image. One of the advantages of using the CMYK value field is the ability to replace your chosen color with one that does not appear in the image. As an example, let's remove red from the image using the CMYK values and replacing it with the color that does not appear in the image. Click save to activate the color replacement. The preview image has been updated with the color replacement we just made. You can also see on the right hand side of the window that the color change appears in the selective color list. The replacement color list stores all the color replacements which we make here. As you can see we can replace as many colors as we like. We can edit, duplicate or delete replacement colors in the list by simply clicking on the color at which point the last three icons become active. Let's go back and see how to replace colors by using our mouse. Click on the add button or the pencil with the plus icon to create a new color removal. In the selective color correction window, click the source color button below the CMYK color values in order to activate this option. The source color is the color which you would like to replace. Then choose a color from the preview image by clicking on it with your mouse. Once we have chosen our source color, you will see that the small box on the left of the button will change. Now click on the destination color button. The destination color is the color you would like to replace the source color with. Move your mouse over the preview image and click a color which you would like to use. We can click save to activate this change, but if you would like to choose a replacement color that does not appear in the image, then you will need to use the destination color CMYK values above. For now, click save to activate the color replacement. To edit a color, Select the color from the list and click the edit or the pencil icon. Now we can make any changes we would like. Click save to activate the new color replacement. Now we can see that the original color has been changed. Duplicating color replacements can also be done in a similar way. Select the color you would like to duplicate from the list. Click the duplicate or the 2x icon once it becomes active. Our duplicated color replacement window appears next. Here we can make any changes we like. Duplicating colors is a fast way of replacing more than one color in the image with the same chosen or destination color. Click save to activate the duplicated replacement color. The new duplicated color replacement now appears in the list with the changes that we made. The selective color replacement window has two more options which I would like to explain. Sandwiched between the source color and the destination color value fields, we have the color adjustment options. There are two options available in the color adjustment field. The tolerance setting defines how much of the chosen source color is selected. The higher the tolerance value is set, the more areas will be removed. The accuracy setting changes how hard or soft the chosen source color edges become. The higher this value is set, the sharper the edges will be. Click save to activate the color replacement. Here you can see that lowering the tolerance has made the selected source color light because less area has been selected and therefore replaced. To revert back to the original image, select each color replacement and click on the bin or delete icon.